Um, tell us about your first job. Where do um, I go? A bit of a weird one. My most recent job, I was a comedy writer for a Mercedes branded video game. My third job, which I still have now, is at Solstice. I was coaching soccer, so under 14 girls. The thrill of like when I give the people their like burrito, they just like smile. Like I love seeing the smile on people's faces when they receive the food. Uh, there's not, yeah, there's not much that makes you happier than like a nice burrito, yeah. Why did you want to work for the Electoral Commission? I wouldn't say 100% wanted to work for it, but I was, I went to the, an early voting centre, which you worked at, because you worked at an early voting centre. Mm -hmm. And then this lady was handing out like little sheets asking if people wanted to work. And it said like, no experience required, and you work with young people. So I was like, oh yeah, why not? I always wanted to have a career when I was older in like the legal political field. So I don't know, I was talking to a lot of people and they said like, kids that have like the Victorian Electoral Commission on like their resume, like it shows that even from a young age they were interested. And I think that's probably the first reason I sort of said, oh, I'll do this. I remember the morning, the, the, the night before I was going to start when I was 18, the first time I was so nervous because I didn't really have a shirt that I felt was officey enough. You know, I'd never worked at an office. I didn't know, I don't, you know, I'd only seen Ricky Gervais. <laughs> like, I didn't know what to, ex I didn't know what to expect. And then I rocked up and everyone's just, you know, and I went, oh, okay, like this is a lot more relaxed and yeah, a much more relaxing environment than, than I, than I expected. So my role at the Electoral Commission was working in the early voting centres. We would issue ballot papers, direct them where to vote, direct them where the ballot box was, help them with any sort of more complicated issues, such as if their name wasn't coming up on the electoral roll or um, if they'd moved address. We basically covered everything bar counting the votes ourselves. So I had a new role and that was taking surveys as people were like, exiting the area. Like the experience at the voting, like if they were happy with the service or like the timing, just like everything about the voting really, yeah. Like it wasn't hard to understand what to do. Like you're, I think you're a bit intimidated at the start because it's like, for me personally, it felt like my first like real job, if that makes sense. But like for this, it's just good for people that don't have any experience because it's just, you can hop straight into it. It's like on the job training, so you get paid to do the training and it's like all in the one day. It's just like really easy and it's, a really big part, especially to do with the election, like the election's really important. There's something really gratifying about, yeah, especially when I was 18, you, you, can't, you come into a work environment where the majority of people at the time were probably twice my age or older, and yet I was treated as a peer and I was given a level of respect and responsibility that I was hoping for. Someone came up to me and was like, here's a job you can do that you don't need like 10 years experience yeah. to, but you'll be treated like an equal as like, you know, yeah. just a member of society who's helping, yeah. you know. Like the community. The community, yeah. like helping the community and getting paid for it. The VCs managed to foster a culture in which everyone really wants to help each other out. You know, that there, there are people in their 60s that don't really know how to use computers. Uh, and hey, I was, Born in the 90s, I can I can manage I can manage that for for them. But I felt like I imparted some like Gen Y minutia onto these baby boomers, you know. Last one. Um, why is this a good role for young people? <laughs> I like believe in having like a really diverse resume. Yeah, I think it's like good to have different experiences in different fields. Yeah, variety. The money. The money, it's just... The fat stacks, you know? It's not volunteer work. And the money is really good. <laughs> yeah, I was happy with that. It's, it's the most flexible job that I've ever had the experience to be, to do. Because it's, like, more casual, because obviously there's not an election every day. It's like, you can still have other jobs as well. Like, it's not like that's your one job, mm. that's what you're doing. You can still, like, you can have the flexibility with it. It's not just... Yeah. And, like, when I first did it, I heard through a friend and they put my name up for it, but I didn't know how to get into it initially yeah. either. But like, they once you're on the system, if it's easy to they apply. can like yeah, contact yeah. you again and be like, hey, do you want to work? Yeah. Oh, God. And that's a wrap. Woo! That was good. <laughs> the high five, you went to clap away. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys.